There's too many unknown variables here. We should walk away. Definitely not. He needs our assistance. May I present the third option? Just use him. An SIRS whistleblower, even one you don't trust, could still help us find the arsehole that blew up half of London and framed DedSec for it. You don't have to invite him to your birthday, just use his information. Good plan. Fine. <clears throat> I'm here. Are you ready to begin? Here's the gist. Malik's intelligence checks out. A rogue faction of SRS officers framed DedSec for the bombings to consolidate power over the government. But now they've noticed that some people are standing up to the new order, and they're blaming you. I believe these are the people you call Zero Day. I don't know their names, but it's safe to assume they have a ringleader. And in my experience overseas, removing the leader... Yeah, yeah, we kill the boss, and Zero Day goes down. But why now? Two weeks ago, a shell company connected with Zero Day's operations imported 40 kilos of Semtex from an old Soviet block depot. But it never left London. Which means Zero Day is planning a bombing that will make those earlier bombings look like a bonfire. And I think I know why. As we're all now painfully aware, false flag attacks are a common propaganda tool for despots. Kill a load of people and the rest fall into line behind whoever says they won't let it happen again. In this case, Zero Day. Which means we both want to discover who's pulling Zero Day strings and stop them. We need to get hold of the personnel dossiers of anyone connected with the earlier bombings and their cover-up. Then Malik and I can analyze their common connections and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. And I'll be on the con to observe. So if Malik's right, Zero Day are some kind of shadowy cabal of spies who blew up half the city to secretly take control of the government. But now they're pissed off that someone's standing up to them, so they're going to do it again. That's awful. I agree. You'd think they'd come up with something besides another bombing. Bit of a double beat, isn't it? Sabine, did we cause this? Zero Day is only doing this because we stood up to them. Cut that victim-blaming shit. I'd rather get blown up a thousand times than lie down just so some wannabe tyrants can stamp on my face. I'm here. You're stealing Sir's personnel dossiers. The organization is strictly compartmentalized, so they aren't stored in one central location. So we're spying on the spies. Good. Let's talk tactics. Sirs uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government, or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. Fucking hell. You could be horrified if you want, but it saved thousands of lives. Get access to a filament terminal and I'll provide you with the search terms. Drone follow.
So this is filament. Impressive. I can help you break in, but we're going to leave a trail. Unless, of course, Malik has an idea. There. I persuaded Filament Security to log that Spiderbot's activity as system maintenance. Are all Sir uh, Spooks as helpful as you? It's not like the movies. Spies aren't the police. I believe in working with the lesser evils like DeadSec to protect society from the greater ones. So why did Zero Day kill all my friends? There are differing schools of thought. Intel acquired. Exfiltrating. Good work. the spy list. Right, so we do a simple CTOS contact analysis and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. I'll have it done before you can say Guantanamo. I'll handle the classified data, thank you very much. It would be so much faster if I worked with you in order to do this. The people in these dossiers are connected, but not necessarily complicit. It will take intelligence expertise to separate the wheat from the chaff. And when I discover something actionable, I will contact you. He's disconnected. Pleasant fella. 